26 of our 28 days of seeing Jesus clearly. Man, I, I hope at this point we got like bionic vision regarding Jesus. Superman vision almost, right? Like see Jesus through walls type of thing. In uh, chapter 26, wow. Woo. Hallelujah. Woo. Shakaba. Mm. Hallelujah. How about that? Woo. Shekaba. Ah. Reba Saraba. Okay, here we go. Matthew chap chapter 26. Shaba. Ha. Feel the Holy Ghost of God right here. Starting in verse 13. Now, woo. Mm, Jesus was in the house, and the woman came and poured the ointment on his feet, and other people were mad at him about that. He says in verse 13, truly, mm, wow, hmm, huh. You know, yesterday I talked about you got to get your lamp filled from Jesus alone. Aha, just be filled right now. Let him fill your lamp right now. Shakaba, right here in the presence of God. Wow. Hmm. He says, truly I say to you, wow, wherever this gospel is preached in the whole world, Shabbat, what this woman has done will also be spunk, spoken in memory of her. Now, you and I, it's highly unlikely we are going to do anything that the whole world remembers forever, right? It's just highly unlikely. However, here, here's what I want you to see today. You can bless the Lord in a way that will be a testimony for generations. Ha! Huh. In this season, I want you to think, how can I bless the Lord in such a way that people still talk about it after I pass? Let me tell you one way. Let's say you invite someone to church and they get saved. And they have a Christian marriage and they raise Christian children, and forever after that, they remember you. You are the one who affected those generations. I still tell my kids about the day that God first touched my heart through the witness of a friend. My wife still tells the story of the girl who witnessed to her after she came back from Israel. Uh, working at service merchandise. We hear the story so often. It is a testimony to what that girl did so many years ago or to what my friend did so many years ago. This woman blessed Jesus in a way that people continue to talk about it after she passed. I want you to think about eternity today. What will you do to bless the Lord in this season that will be a testimony for generations? If you don't have any idea, ask the Lord to lead you in such a way that people will be blessed beyond this time. Mm, that's what we're doing today. Woo! Wow. And just carry this with you today. All right? Let today be blessed and filled with His presence. All right, I will see you tomorrow on day 27.